Okay, so I'm back home now. I'm still not going to take my mask off. Remember, this training is about how it's pretty straightforward to teach in a mask for an extended period of time. However, if you're watching this and you're not at home, if you're watching this as part of a group, there is something you can do. I'm going to tell you about two ideas. One's called exponential good, and the other is about how making small steps straight away can be more effective than waiting to do everything perfectly. Right, now, the idea of one-way masking, which I'm doing at the moment, is not as effective as two-way masking. Also, not every mask is created equal. The cloth mask that you have, crumpled up in your bag from a year ago, is not as good as the mask that uh, I'm wearing. But you don't have to wait until you've got something like this. If you're watching this as part of a group, and you've got a mask with you now, crumpled up in your bag, put it on, right now. It's likely to have some benefit. Even if it isn't great for stopping the highly transmissible Omicron variant, it's still going to do some filtration. Maybe no one in the room has COVID right now. But if someone has a different virus, like flu or a cold, we know that these masks can be effective. Now next, if you and another person in the same room are both wearing a mask, you'll notice just how much easier it is to mask. It's hard being the only one. It's much easier when you have an ally. Now I'm a psychology teacher as well as a science teacher, and I've taught lots of children about social psychological ideas like conformity and being an ally. In the UK right now, there are lots of people wearing low quality masks. It's frustrating in some ways for people who know lots about masks, but all those people, they're allies. They shouldn't be discouraged because their mask isn't perfect. And while you're at it though, if you can crack open a window right now, do it. If you need to put your coat on um, to keep warm, that's absolutely fine. Now we're all familiar with the idea that one infected person can infect several other people, and we can have exponential growth in cases. The converse of this is that if we can prevent an infection, or even just delay it, we can do exponential good. Every person who avoids an infection cuts a chain of transmission. Lots of people wearing masks, even masks that are less than perfect, can avoid infections, and therefore avoid a chain of infections. It's not just your infection that's avoided, it's not just the person you've avoided infecting. It's all the other people further down the chain that also avoid infections, so you can do exponential good.